everyone, it's Larry from Cook Scrap Craft, and today I am sharing with you my, what month is this, May scrapbook haul. I actually didn't do one for April because I didn't purchase anything, and to be quite honest with you, the month of April was crazy, and I wasn't even thinking about scrapbooking that much. So I have some goals for May, some specific photos that I want to get scrapped, so that's what I um, purchased papers and embellishments for, plus just a few extras, and I got all of this from Paper Issues. So they've got a great selection of product and you can get 20% off by using a code um, that you can find in the Paper Issues Friends and Fans Facebook group. I will also try to put that code below if I remember. Um, this is where you can find them on social and all of that fun stuff. So to start things off from this bag, I have some photos of a big, huge snowstorm that we had in February. We got 23 inches of snow over the course of two days. So I needed some winter papers. So I went with the Doodle Bug Winter Wonderland collection. I love the little hints of glitter in some of these stickers. Um, and then I decided I was going to do a two-page spread. So this side has glitter on it. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm going to use this as my background for the spread, the two-page. And then I'm going to use these stickers. Um, to help kind of, because these are a little bit bigger, um, to help kind of fill in some space. You've seen me do the, the idea, the design that I have for these photos. You've seen me do before in my Christmas two-page spread where I scrap lifted myself. That's on the YouTube channel. And then I have this Winter Wonderland paper, which also has some glitter on this side. And then just some blue and white on this side. I can't have decided what I want to do. And then I got this. This is not part of a winter collection. Um, it's Allison Craft Designs. The collection is It's Christmas and it's North Pole from Webster's Pages. I really liked the white brick. And I thought the white would look really great with all of these other papers. This is what the other side looks like. It's just squares with photos of Christmas decorations on it. I'm not going to use that. I'm all about the white brick. So that's the goal for um, the winter photos that I have. Now, I also picked up a lot of Vicki Booten Color Study because um, it's brand new and it's wonderful. And when I took a look at it, it reminded me actually of... It just seemed very birthday-ish. There was something specific. These are colored pencils, but when I saw them, I thought of candles. So I said, you know what? Let's pick this up and use this for my daughter's March birthday photos and whatever else I have, because I'm sure I'm going to have leftovers. So to go along with the color study stuff, I also picked up Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold Puffy Stickers and the 249-piece sticker book, because they have some of the same bright and happy colors. I also picked up the Paige Evans dimensional stickers. I don't know what, oh, this is from the Wonders collection. So these are like just fun little fabric, um, little bits and bobs with some um, popped up, some popped up decor on the very top. And then the thickers Happy Day from American Crafts. These um, are not letters. They're just kind of words. You can make your own phrases and whatever. And then so I got the Vicki Booten color study. Yeah, yeah. 12 by 12 holographic print on vellum, which is very shiny in its plastic. The Vicky Booten Color Study Dots and Marks. I have a friend here with me. Just pink on this side and the dots on this side. Then I have the Color Study in Doodles, which has the colored pencils on this side, and then some other fun dots that have um, the days of the week on them as well. I love the border strips that go all the way across, by the way. Color Study Canvas. This is uh, four by six cut aparts. I really like these. Um, Make Your Own Happy would be perfect for a birthday. And then it's got some florals on that side. The Vicky Booten Color Study Perspective, some extra like paper strip cut aparts and tag cut aparts, really fun, and then some fun swirls on this side. And then to go along with that, Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold. I liked the rainbow colors here on this paper. This one's called Summer Stripes, and then it's got just a fun little um, kind of dotted pattern on the other side. And then the Brave and Bold Good Vibes. I love these hexagons and the different colors. And then this super bright, like neon yellow with white um, dots all over it. So I think this is going to be, all of this is going to be a really nice collection for some birthday photos and even taking me into like spring and summer photos as I take those. Now, something else I'm doing is the Simple Stories collection 
um, Hello Today. And I'm getting the cut apart sheets because I am going to try to do, as I struggle to get it out, more Project Life pages. So for March, this is, you know, what it looks like. And then it's got this pattern on the other side with a little bit of a border strip pattern at the very top here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take all the photos from March that don't really have a specific story that were just kind of the everyday mundane things. And I'm going to combine them with these cut aparts and do some Project Life pages with that. And then just for fun, oh no, not just for fun, um, I have a few pages that are going to go well with some outdoor photos. I still have a lot of Chamel, like field trip um, embellishments that I can use with this, but I, I just picked up Studio Light um, from the Great cre Create Happiness. I really liked the triangles. It kind of reminded me of trees. Um, this is just, just a white and um, black sort of honeycomb pattern on this side, but I liked this to go with the Bella Boulevard wood stumps from Let's Go on an Adventure, perfect for outdoor photos. And then these are canoe paddles, but I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna use this side. I also have the Simple Story, Simple Vintage Great Escape. This is the Let's Explore paper with some um, butterflies and moths on this side. But I think I'm gonna use this one more with the sort of leaves and this really cool like mixed media looking background. Um, so those are going to be for the outdoor photos. And then I also picked up just a few extra things that I really liked that I hadn't purchased before. And I can just add them wherever they see fit. So how do you swap old school, the Summerland paper? Love the way that this looks. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but I'll figure it out. And then it's got some cool lightning bolts on the other side. And then I really liked the Summer Adventure from Echo Park. This is the navy yellow. So it's yellow on one side, navy on the other. Great for doing backing on photos or using as a background itself. So I don't know how I'm going to use this yet. Maybe it'll be with the outdoor photos. Maybe it'll be with something else. But I have it and I'm glad. Simple Stories Autumn Splendor. It's not fall, but I really liked the orangey. It's just kind of a cool different tones of orange on this side, some paint splatters maybe, and then polka dots on the other side. So it can be very versatile, used for many different things. And then Farm to Table from Cardabella, Flowered Flowers. This side has the baking mixes and the bowls and all of that. I'm probably not going to use that side, but I really, really liked the sort of checkered blue and white of this. I think this is going to be very versatile for a lot of different things. So that's what I purchased for the month of May from Paper Issues. Um, I will have the link below to their website so you can go and find a lot of this great stuff too. Um, if you want to know more, if you have other questions about how I'm going to use these products, leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any process videos that I do using all of these products. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!